Hi everybody, it's me again, Russell My Hammers 11. Hope you're all safe and well. Um, if you use the channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon. We're going to have these quiz nights every Thursday for the, the whole of September. Um, thank you for all your support from last week. Loads of really lovely messages and um, just loads of niceness and happiness, uh, which would be nice for a change um, <laughs> at the moment. Uh, and so, obviously... We're trying to, by the end of September, raise £20,000 for the Iron Supporting Food Banks group. Currently, we are on, drum roll please, we are on £12,141. What a precise number. And that includes a Just Giving site and obviously personal private donations as well. So, um, again, amazing amount of money. Thank you very much. Um, you'll notice that John put on, um, on Twitter today that... Um, we're going to be raffling off a signed shirt um, and that'll be at the end of each episode basically. Um, now I don't expect this to be a two hour marathon like last week. We haven't got a, a special guest. We do have three very special guests. We don't have an ex-hammer today. It's just a game show so we'll only be a sort of an hour or so absolute maximum. Um, but the idea is just to give everyone an opportunity to, to still donate um, and obviously the Just Giving site's at the bottom so make sure you donate. Uh, as I said we did Pointless last week, um, where it was nail biting, with uh, Charlie just losing to the eventual champion. Here he is, here's the champ. Let me kick his butt. There he is, the champ. <laughs> Hello, mate. You're all right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Here's the champ. How Thank you, you doing? so much for having me on. Well, you got to, this winner stays on. Yeah, I know. I think you've built me up a bit too much, mate. I'm gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna collapse tonight because I've seen the competition. And I'm sure they're gonna give me a good island tonight. Well, we've we've gone we've gone younger today. We've gone younger today. You know. The, yeah, yeah, the... yeah. I, I like you, Rush. You saucy git. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a couple of young boys today, um, and you know, it's it's just good to have a bit of light relief at the moment, isn't it? I almost said hand relief then. <laughs> to be that <laughs> relief. Is it that time already? <laughs> exactly. <Hey. Ooh>. uh, <laughs> it's past nine o'clock now, past Watershed. So Hang on, I've got, some, I've got some lube down here. <laughs> <laughs> Club shop lube available Ooh. at the at the gift shop. Um so we've got uh, we've got obviously Ryan from West Ham Fan TV. We've also got from Hammers Chat. He finished second in the American Hammers Network Network quiz they did, much to the host Adam Frankel's um, enjoyment. Mr. Tom Atherton, how are we doing, Athers? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. Thank you for uh, for having me on. Um, unfortunately, because Ryan said you bigged him up there, people big me up to win the final because I beat Dom for obviously does his fan cams and stuff on West Ham fan TV, and, and then and I crashed in the final. So hopefully, it isn't the same over for Ryan. <laughs> well, that's it probably will be, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's encouraging right so we've got one we've got two um we've got a, a relatively new newcomer to the youtube scene so to speak although i'm money that were i've only been there a few months but um it's Corey from the west ham way uh channel there he is Corey. Oh. hello Corey. how are you doing man oh, <laughs> how are you i'm good mate yeah this is um you've really built it up tonight it's getting a bit tense now to be fair i'm a bit like <laughs> should have done my homework but I'm going to just do No homework. No homework, homework needed for today. It's very simple. It's not like the po uh, pointless last week, which was quite uh, it, involved, that was. But it was it was the first one. So this one's a lot easier today. Um, we're going to be playing a... Um, go on, what were you going to say? I was going to say, it got a bit uh, competitive last week. I, I could see Charlie proper raging. Like, <laughs> I was going to give him a couple of points just to let him win. I felt guilty. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing was, the next day, I put on... Um, uh, the next that video I put in the next day was and, and literally two or two or three of Charlie's picks like came up in conversation like in eleven. So if we'd done that day, mm -hmm. day after, you'd have you'd have romped home basically, right? To be honest, no, I don't so, feel guilty now. Don't, don't feel, feel guilty, guilty now. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all good, all good fun and games, right? Um, so as I said, today we are doing play your cards right now. For those of you, um, well, you know, I'm actually I was trying to explain it to the boys before we started. And by boys, I mean Tom and Corey. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit <laughs> random. I don't understand it, but basically, play your car right, cards right. Very, very simple game. Um, it's basically higher or lower. So usually you play it with with cards. So you have like I don't know, like uh, six of clubs, and then the next card is it going to be higher or lower than a six? And that's basically the game. But obviously, we're not doing it with cards. We're doing it with West Ham players. So each person individually, we've got 
we'll see how we go. We've got three or four rounds, maybe five rounds. We'll see how, how time flies. Um, and uh, whoever's at the end, whoever gets through the whole thing, um, so basically completes their set of five, gets a point. Person with most points wins. Nice and simple. Um, so uh, we will start with Ryan because he can sort of understand the rules um, <laughs> and we're going to actually show my card we're going to share, share my screen first might help there we go okay doke. and so here he goes play the cards right there we go so the first one is premier league goals for west ham that's the first category and everyone will have an opportunity everyone's going to have a round of these five so just to start off with, Carlitos Tevez. Carlitos Tevez scored seven goals for West Ham, right? The next card, and I'll tell you what the card is, and you can see if it's higher or lower. The next card is Aaron Cresswell. Now, Ryan, did Aaron Cresswell, has he scored more or less Premier League goals than Carlitos Tevez? It's got to be less. It's got to be less. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It was, it was more. He scored more. <laughs> so, you, so that's not a point. We'll go through the rest of the team. What do you think about Obiang? Obiang more or less than uh, than Cresswell in Premier League goals? Less. Yes. Florin Radachoy. Did he? Oh, I actually was at a game when he scored. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go lower. I think he scored two. He did. Well done. And finishing off with with laser. Laser Lazaridis. Uh, I'm gonna go higher. Yeah, so unfortunately no points for Ryan. So oh, we'll I can't go... believe Creswell scored eight goals. Well don't forget <laughs> don't forget Tevez only turned Very up good. for half a se- half a season though, didn't he? To be yeah, honest. And... Creswell's only turned up like for about <laughs> half an hour in twenty. <laughs> well, eight, he's turned up eight times, as you said he scored a few <laughs> free kicks recently. Um right, okay, so let's go let's go with we'll go in order as I see him. So Tom, you're next. <clears throat> so Tom, right, we're still in a, doing Premier League goals for West Ham. Go on then. Kevin Nolan, the chicken man himself. And I still don't understand why Antonio hasn't done a chicken dance for his celebration. <laughs> right, Kevin Nolan scored 18 goals, Premier League goals for West Ham. Um, next is Dean Ashton. Oh, it's a gimme, isn't it? More or less than Kevin Nolan. <laughs> Why'd you say that? I can't, um, remember that? I can't remember it to be honest. So. I think they're going to be really close. Um, I'm going to say more, but by a couple, if that. Oh, oh, less goals. Oh. Dean Ashton <laughs> scored less goals. So no points for you. We'll go through it. Uh, Arnie. Arnie more or less goals than, than Dino? Uh, more. Yes. Trevor Morley. Before your time, probably, Tom, to yeah, be honest. before my time. <laughs> more, more or less than Arnie? Um, we'll say I'll go with more. Less. I... And we're finishing with David D. McKayley in the lovely patch <laughs> strip. <laughs> season uh yeah i'll go i'll go less for that one oh yeah so less so no points for you so at the moment no one scored any points i haven't got a backup if no one doesn't get any points so anyway Corey, come on this is your job now man mm-hmm. right okay Mikel antonio you might have heard of him um 36 league goals he's almost going to be on oh, I'll, I'll sort of, yeah i'll stop now uh, okay Mikel antonio sort of 36 league goals ian dowie now has ian dowie scored more <laughs> or less for any uh, goals the less. Mikhail, you, less, he less, says. Mate, yeah. Eight, of course. Ian Bishop, Bish Bosch. Again, for your time, probably. Yeah. Um, how many goals do you reckon Bish scored? If he was obviously midfielder. Uh, more. Less. Oh, come on. I thought he scored. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Michael. Michael Hughes. Just we're just playing for fun now. You haven't got a point, but Michael um, Hughes. Yeah. What do you reckon? Ah, uh, higher. Yeah, and Snoddy. Ooh. Higher? Just higher. So at the moment, no one's got a fucking point. It's a good start, but don't <laughs> worry, we've got plenty more rounds to come. And they don't get they get a bit of fun as we go through. Um, right, Premier League appearances for West Ham. Okay. So we'll start off and we'll start with Ryan again. The love of my life, Christian Daly. 112 Premier League appearances for West Ham. Joey O'Brien, did Job play more Premier League games or less Premier League games? I'm going to go less. 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 Yes, 90. 90. It went by much. Not by much, not by much. And these were done randomly, literally. He played 90 times for us. Bloody hell. (laughs) That's that's Premier League. That's not... Yeah, I I thought it was more championship. Yeah. Um, The man himself, Blockhead. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to go less. Less. 69. Great number. <laughs> Didn't think about that. <laughs> Back to the loop. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, Teddy Sheringham, did he score less, has he, so he played less uh, than 69 times or, or more than 69 Premier League appearances for West Ham? Uh, Teddy Sheringham, I'm going to go, I'm going to go less again. Yes, mm. and then Danny Williamson. Wow. Oh, Danny Williamson, again, the other two, no idea Danny Williamson, he was a brilliant <laughs> player for us, Danny Williamson. Uh, Premier League, Danny Williamson, I'm going to go more, but I think more. he's going to be wrong. Yes, oh, one on. point for Ryan. One point for Ryan. Well done, Danny Thank Williamson. Eh? What a player! He was a great that was, player. That was a spanner in the works. That one. Did he go to? He went. To, was it Everton after us? I yeah, mean, he was part of the uh, David Unsworth. He was part of the David Unsworth deal, wasn't he? Of course. Of course and he got he injured, was. and that was it. Oh, Shame because he was a good, he was a really good player. He was. He was a quality mm. sort of midfielder, weren't he? Um, yeah, and he got. He just kept getting injured all the time, didn't he? Unfortunately, a bit um, like Mark Noble, wasn't he? Local lad, Canning yeah. Town boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, Love, lovely haircut there. And it's that <laughs> lovely, that lovely. Was it pony? Was yeah. it pony shirt? Which that horrible collar? It's just like really horrible. Like, That's the uh, centenary kit, isn't it? Yeah, the velvet with the bubbles in the in the tea, in the actual thing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ariel collars. Oh god, with a really <laughs> horrible. Badge as well, anyway. Right, okay. Let's go with Tom. Come in, Tom. Right, one point to Ryan. So Don Hutchinson, deadly Don Hutchinson. Uh, next one is Scott Minto. Oh, did Scott Minto again? Sixty nine again. I didn't really sixty nine appearances. Did Scott Minto play more games of that make more appearances or less appearances? I'm gonna say. I don't know how quickly he went to Chelsea afterwards, or did he go from Chelsea to us? I can't remember. Came from, I think he came from Chelsea to us. I think. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say more by a couple again. I don't know. No. <sighs> Shocking. Poor effort. I tell, effort. You what, I tell you, it's like since you've not won that American Hammers Network, you've just got <laughs> confidence. Oh, straight down. confidence. You're a confidence is quiz person. <laughs> right. Well, let's just go through for fun. Chicharito. More than 51 of Premier League appearances or less than 51? Uh, I'd say less. Less? <laughs> what are you doing Dix. to me here? Did more. Julian more. Dix more? more. Okay, more. <laughs> and then Ludo. Did Ludo play more Premier League games or less Premier League games than Julian Dix? I'm going to say more. A lot more. 69 again. What is it of our players and 69? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, Where's okay. it with you and sixty nine? Oh, no, yeah, that's, <laughs> Honestly, that's the real this is issue. Literally, yeah. I've literally what I did was I put it into a in a spreadsheet and I just ran like picked a random number. It, it just said it's every every player in a number. Just so it wasn't sort of, you know, mm, I'm gonna be all all sneaky and stuff. Just press the button and did it all. But uh, just you know, it's not my fault Ludo finished on sixty nine and Don Action finished on sixty nine, was it? <laughs> I didn't deliberately have a word with Don and say, "No, nah, stop playing, mate." Because in about ten years' time, we're going to have a quiz and it'd be really funny. <laughs> Marlon, same with you. Right, okay. Um, let's go with Corey. Come on, Corey. Let's get a point. Let's let's let's, uh, let's even it up. Yushiaska Lynam, very untidy player, didn't he? He always looks. He had his shirt untucked, didn't he? He's always sort of. <laughs> Long I'm arms, sorry. bless him. Um, right, Hirito Ilunga. Oh, oh, what a player! Um, More or less than fifty-seven appearances. I'm going to go less. Oh, <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> right, okay. Mark Reaper. This is just fun now. Mark Reaper. More than yeah. sixty-two, or less than sixty-two. More. Yes, well done, oh, yes. George McCartney. Oh. Was he more or less yeah, than nineteen? I reckon more, mate. More, yes. And Lewis Boamorte, uh, less. Just less. So you would have got a point, but you didn't because you didn't. Yeah. It's so a at the moment, money. Ryan's got one point. Corey's got love, no love, loving the old style sticker collections and stuff. I remember those signature ones. I used to collect them as a kid and that. Well, I, just, years, yeah. I thought it was just a bit, it looked quite fun. And also, it's, what's really funny is you look at the older, like the old, like the Mark Reaper and stuff, and you don't get all that fancy stuff, that background. It's literally just like, yeah, like yeah. when you used to go into the, I mean, I remember going to the port cabin and you'd get those sort of f six by four pictures and it's literally them. Someone's taking it on their camera and it's just the grass behind them. That's all you get. None of this sort of clever, 
clever sort of uh, <laughs> clever look, like all the right. stats and stuff. Yeah, on top of the all the fake autograph things. Right. Okay. So it's one to Ryan, zero to Corey, zero to Tom. <sighs> Round three is Premier League yellow cards for West Ham. This is quite interesting. This one. Right. So Ryan Neil Ruddock had twelve Premier League yellow cards for West Ham. Lucas Neil, more or less than Razor? I'm going to say more. Just. We're back to Marlon. He's coming up again, bless him. Oh, Marlon. It's Marlon. What do you reckon? He's like getting stuck in, didn't he? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say more. Ah, oh, less. Fuck off, Matt. Marlon. What about, what about, what about <laughs> Matty? Oh, less. <laughs> yeah. And Gabs? More. Just though, yeah, you know, that's that's seven yellow cards, bloody seven hell. yellow cards. He's Premier, and that's obviously Premier League yellow cards. Obviously, you know, obviously cups and, and obviously anything else. But um, yeah, 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 it's fourteen. Right, okay, here we go, here we go, Tom. Right, uh, we have John Monker. <laughs> Got stuck the, in, didn't he? <laughs> get, he liked to get stuck in, didn't he? Probably fifty of those fifty six came within one minute of getting on the pitch. But um, <laughs> love, lovely bloke. Obviously, you know. He's uh, he's found God now, and uh, you know, but he's he's still got that twinkle in his eye. Bless him. Uh, right, Johnny Monks. Next one, Mister Five O Two. Has he got more or less Premier League yellow cards than Monks? I'm just gonna have to say more. A lot okay. more, <laughs> but obviously he played a lot more as well. Yeah, so of fair course. <laughs> right, uh, okay. less, less, less for Collins. Sure less, was. less, less for Ginger. Thirty-seven. Mr. Carlton Cole. <laughs> uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say less again. Very good. And then Mr. Scott oh, Parker. Come on, Tom. Uh, come on, Tom. Come on. I'm going to say, I'm going to say less. Oh! Failed. So close. So tough. <laughs> it's a tough game. It's, it's, get, it's getting tense. I mean, we've got a couple of rounds. It's going to get tense. Yeah. Can't you make it easier? Yeah. <laughs> the next ones will be fun. They've got two, two more ones. Uh, right. Okay. Corey, let's go, man. Thomas Repka, 22 Premier League yellow cards for West Ham. Steve Lomas. Oh, uh, go less. <laughs> 26 I always go early doors as well um, early doors it's always that well, guys carry on we've got, uh, we've got yeah Trev. it's got got to be less mate just do 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 Nigel Rea Coca uh, I'll go more Nigel Rea Coca for those of you who are Western, Nigel Rea Coca fans make sure you subscribe to my Hammers 11 for uh, the uploads tomorrow um, <laughs> just saying, <laughs> just saying, he, he, he may be on. Um, right, and and Steve Potts, God bless him. Uh, more, more, not a lot more, though. That's surprising, isn't it? Quite, quite a clean player. Uh, right, okay, so we're still one, we're still Ryan's still in the lead. Um, and uh, unfortunately, Corey and Tom still off the um, not off the mark yet, but it doesn't matter. Two more, we've got two more rounds. And so it's only a short one this week today, guys. Right, okay, next one we have distance from birthplace <laughs> to home ground. Good God. And by this, I've just assumed Upton Park just for this. <laughs> not not saying anything, but Upton Park. It's like to Upton Park, basically, when it was there. Um, right, so, right, here we go. So, Alu Diara. 264 miles. I, was As... I thought I was meters then for a second. I was... <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. He, he, he actually lived just off Green Street. Um, it was a little known <laughs> fact about Alu Diara. um Yeah, so obviously these are miles. Uh, As the crow flies for, for confirmation in case anyone asks. Um, right, so next one is Yoshi. Yoshi Benayun. Was he more or less miles from his birthplace to the home ground of West Ham United? More. A lot more. 2,300. More. Raz Van Rats, Charlie Walsh's favourite left back. <laughs> Less. Oh, once. Oh, Sodoroff. 
Oh, he was a flyer. Oh, this now, is... Todder off, man. Todder is off. he less or more? I'm trying to think of his now. Oh, um, more. <laughs> and then Tyrone Mears. But he's got to be less, isn't it? Oh, he's, he's got the easy oh, one there at the end of the day. Well, it's it is it's how they fall out. So Rice got two points. Right, you could have okay. David Cole and Mark Noble as well if you wanted to. Yeah, David Cole and Mark Noble. Green yeah. Street and Canning Town. Yeah. Well, David Gold would be zero point zero one, wasn't he? Just yeah. across the road. Or, or was it four four two Green Street? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So coming in, Tom. We've got Pedro Obiang. We've got Nikita Yelovich. Croatia, it's got to be more in it. Simeone Zaza. What could have been? I'm bringing, I'm bringing on my uh, my geography skills. I failed at <laughs> uh, at GCSE. Um, <laughs> how close is Croatia to Italy? Um, I'm going to say less. Oh. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> well, while we're finished, while we're finished off, Marco Bugas. Was Marco Bugas more or less than Simeone? Uh, we'll go We'll go more. Not that far. Look, where, where is Vandy from? He's only in Holland. Is he? Oh, yeah. yeah. And Robert Snodgrass. Is Robert Snodgrass more or less than 279 miles from the ground? Surely that's got to be more because it's... <laughs> is he going back up to Scotland? I'm going to say more, just because. It was more. Oh, it was there we more. go. As you said, yeah, very good. Right, come on, Corey. Let's get let's get you on the board. Let's get you on the board. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, come on, mate. Right, Javier Marquez over <laughs> seven thousand miles. Bless him, and he went back there and came back with, with Claret Hair. <laughs> God bless him. Um, right, who we got next? Pablo Barrera. Oh, oh, he was a player. <laughs> He was a player. He was a good player. Uh, go less. Less. Mexico. Yes. Mexico. Arthur Masawaku. Where's he born? Where's he born? Is it is it more than five and a half thousand miles away? I don't know. I'm going to go... I'm going to go less as well. Yes, he was born in Lille, I believe. And Hugo... You are know, Hugo Porfirio. Right, I remember Hugo Porfirio. <laughs> Uh, our, our Portuguese wizard. I say that just to help people. Uh, out. Yeah, more than. Oh, no. <laughs> I said Portuguese right. wizard. You, you, you yeah, know. to help you out more. Oh, no, no, Marco no, no, no. He's a, he's a uh, <laughs> Less. Less. Oh, just though. All right, just so you got it. a point. Point on the board. It. Corey's got a point. <laughs> Corey's got a point. Tom's got a point. Right, we've got one more round. Now, obviously... At the moment, Tom can't win. Doesn't matter. Um, Corey could draw. I haven't. I haven't got a tie. Tie. So we're fucked. Do not. But no matter. Um, the next one is height. Height of players. How tall are players? And are some players higher than others? Right. So, Ine Dimitrescu. Oh, part, part of the part of the, the, that amazing red nap era where we had all these players turn up. Um, great era for. for I can't uh, met him at the training ground once when I was younger. Yeah, he used to play for Tottenham as well. Um, good, good fun he was. Um, next one, Paolo Futre. Oh, uh, I'm going to say he's taller. Think, right, you think he's taller? Oh, just though. Just because he's got bigger hair, that's why. That's probably what it was, yeah. It's probably Buffon the up, bless him. And to be honest, he just got out of his limo probably and he had, had his big cigarello coming out as well, bless him. Uh, right, Guillermo Franco. I'm going to go uh, taller. He was quite tall. Yeah. one eight one point eight. Back to Florian Radichoy. Oh, God. Bless him. Uh, smaller. <laughs> for the and win. Jo- and then Jonah. For the for the win. He's one over. <laughs> no, no pressure. Eh? <laughs> no pressure. I'm not under pressure here because I know him. <laughs> I know. How tall is Jonah? I can't win, so let me throw a spanner in the works. Come on. No pressure, Ryan. Come on. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. He's taller. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> no. oh, no, it's, it's rigged. It's rigged. Oh, it's Stevie cool. Jones is watching this. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, good he, probably, he probably will be, actually. Jonesy probably is, actually. 
If not, he'll, he'll watch it afterwards. Um, right, so another point for Ryan again. Right, okay, let's go. Let's go, Tom. Let's get something on the board. Let's Come not on. have a duck. <laughs> right. Mr. Robert Green. God bless him. Adrian. Why <laughs> can you keep us? <laughs> Is Adrian taller or shorter than Mr. Robert Green? See, but I, I'm, I can't, I can't think in my head how tall one eight eight is in like feet and one eight eight is probably about the size of Robert Green, if that helps. Thank you for that. No, <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> give, give Corey the, give Corey the clue. But yeah, um, <laughs> real. Um, I'll say he is. I'll say he's <laughs> taller. Taller. Oh, for God's sake! Yes, oh, he yeah. was. He was. Oh. Now West West Ham great Gary Breen. Gary Breen. Gary Breen. Looking at his shoulders there, he looks tall, doesn't he? He's got a long neck, isn't he? Yeah, I'm going to say taller. Oh, Shorter. Off, Gary Breen. <laughs> <laughs> we all need a team of Gary Breens. Right, Johnny Artson, just for fun. Uh, lower. Not that much. And then Lionel Scaloni. Smaller. Yeah. Fucking Gary Breen. Fucking Gary Breen. You used to say that many, many a time at West Ham. Nothing changes, bless him. I was going to say, I heard that a lot in the Bobby Moore lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, no no difference there. No difference there. Right. Come on in. Come on in, Corey. You can't win, but you can, you know, you can get two points, which ain't a bad bad shout for this. Right. So, Hayden Mullins. A lot of players' favourite when when we do the Hammers 11s, they pick Hayden Mullins if they were he was playing during the time. Um, probably the reason we lost the FA Cup final, I reckon, when we got sent off, because um, he was integral to us. And Luis Garcia wasn't for Liverpool, I'd say. Um, next one is Paul Konchesky. Conch. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit taller. Ah, he's shorter. No, no, come on, man. I thought he was taller. He's shorter. All right. Right, let's carry on. Who we got here? We got uh, oh, Yoshi. Oh, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Yoshi. Uh, smaller. Yes. Davor Sukal. Uh, smaller. Yeah. Sure. Got a funny story about Davos Suka. I've got two funny stories about Davos Suka. We'll, we'll, we'll go through. One is a spoiler for for an interview I've got up, coming up on Monday. But there's two Davos Suka. <laughs> We've got um, so Johnny Monks tells a great story how um, Suka was really into his stocks and shares, really really into. Him. <clears throat> and he said to John, "I've got a good tip for you on on, a, on something that's going to fly. It's going to be a report coming up. And um, you know, if you put <clears throat> you weighed a lot of money on this, we're going to make some money on on this stock. And then obviously." Oh, twitchy is goes. Oh, Harry's like, oh, I'll have some of that. What's going on? So they all put a lot of money into this stock. Report comes out. The stock it's it's not what they think. The stock absolutely plummets, and they lose all their money. Done all their money. The next trade, the next uh, training session. Um, basically, Monker's on the other side uh, on a seven aside team, and uh, and basically, what's then takes him out completely. Monks takes him out. Like literally two footy tackle, and Suke turns to Harry and says, "Come on, H," and they all called him Dave. Dave Suke, they used to call him. And then Harry just shouted out, "No, carry on, son. Do it again." And they just kept on double footing Suke for the rest of the game. But uh, and the other and the other story was as it comes out on on Monday. I've interviewed a player Monday, and when during the Intertoto Cup run, um, we played a Croatian team and. Um, Suke and Stimach organised a team bonding uh, shooting event, and so they took them, and and they they assumed it was going to be all in a you know a proper like warehouse or a proper you know setup. It wasn't. It was in the forest, and they started getting out all these AK forty sevens and stuff like this. This was the evening or on the morning before the game. John Monker strips completely naked and starts running through the forest like a rabbit, <laughs> saying, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. <laughs> only, only to be told by Mr. Suker and Mr. Stimatch that the ground he's running on um, was hasn't been cleared for landmines yet. I was going to say, because of the war <laughs> over there, isn't it? Exactly. And so Monks <laughs> just goes completely white and then has to try and retrace his steps. And considering he did this all like bunny hop, thing around the thing I had to retrace his steps all the way back 
Um, obviously, nothing happened, but it just just fun. It's made me laugh. Right, and and, uh, and so back to, back to it, Corey. Uh, Paul Kitson. Paul Kitson. Oh, mate, uh, taller. Taller. He was shorter. Oh, come he on. was shorter. So obviously, shorter. once again, Mr. Ryan wins, and there he's like, "Don't big me up, don't big me up." He's only won again, and and he's won again. So congratulations, Mr. Thank Archer. You, Thank it you. does mean that you probably have to keep yourself busy. You have to keep, don't see, get yourself busy for Thursday next week because we've got uh, another game show coming up. I think if you ever do Countdown, mate, that'll be me done. I will never do, win that, trust me. You should have got me on next, for the chase or Countdown. Some of these. Well, <laughs> next, <laughs> week we have, next week we have Wheel of Fortune. Classic, Ooh. classic game. West Ham, uh, My Hammers, Levin does Wheel of Fortune. And so we'll have Ryan Prop coming back, hopefully, with, with two other... Uh, YouTubers as well. So, um, how's everyone? Um, I won't talk about how everyone is feeling at the moment because, but obviously, we've got Saturday. We, we, we're through to the Bet Wake Up on Saturday, the final. It's a massive game, mate. It's a massive game. Charles yeah. the extra silverware in the uh, in the cabinet. Yeah. <laughs> exactly first first silverware of the uh, of the of the, uh, of the thing, so it's not too bad. Um, have we uh, we've hosted that tournament about five times? We've only won it once, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we've won it. Yeah, but it's. Uh, I, I I one day I fancy us, you know, round the edge. You know, like they've got like you know people when people win the Premier League trophies and stuff. They've got all the dates, and then when it comes, I'd love it. So, you know, Intertoto Cup. FA Cup, Betway Cup, you know. I've got I just, want, I just want to see issue. us win it on Saturday and then David Sullivan comes out holding it up, going, <laughs> you don't need to money, we're winning open, trophies. Open top bus parade <laughs> <laughs> around the streets of Newham. But, um, trophy but listen, looks like something you'd give to kids at, like, who, you know, end of season trophies. Have you seen it? It's just like it's been yeah, bought yeah. out of a shop. It's absolutely <laughs> shocking bit of silver. Well... I reckon Juve. I reckon Juve and uh, who was it Athletic Bill Bale the other day? I reckon they threw it away when they got back. Of course, yeah. Use Juventus. it as a door stop or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember back in the up, back at back at Upton Park where we used to do our little pre pre match meetings in like the the boardroom. And they had all the cabinets, and and all the and all the trophy cabinets were all things like that commemorative plates for when we played at Quinton Stanley for the first time. And obviously, it was no like. FA Cup trophies. They weren't in the in the boardroom. It was all these little commemorative plates and those bat. You know when they sort of play a random team and they do like a handshake with a little crappy triangle yeah, banner. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. those types of things. But uh, listen, guys. Again, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, as I said, it only be a quick one. Uh, so I really, really appreciate everyone's time. Um, so thank you very much, gentlemen. Well done again, Mister Archer. No, thank you, mate. Um, no, I really enjoyed it. It was a uh... A good bit of fun as we said earlier you know saying a bit positive you know it's been a bit negative lately in the west down world so it's nice for us to sit down and have a little laugh and uh yeah, yeah i enjoyed it yeah and um, it'd be fun next week as i said again we got um yeah wheel of fortune that'd be fun i think that'd be quite good i can't and... even remember i can't even remember the wheel of fortune i wheel remember of fortune. It. so I you got this, it so it's it's those like it, it'll be right just as a spoiler so basically Wheel of Fortune usually is like a phrase or a song or a person, and you've got the letters all up, and you have to spin the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It stops yeah, yeah. at 500 quid or whatever, and obviously we're not paying it, for yeah. money, but we're doing it. That's <laughs> the point. And then you go, oh, I'll have an A. Boom, I was going to say, I'm winning all these game shows, but I'm skinned. What's the money? <laughs> <laughs> we're giving it to the Iron Supporting Food Banks. Right? Oh, that's yeah, what that's it's all good. about. Yeah, that's, that's what it made, made me feel guilty now. <laughs> exactly. Those poor people. And so, you know, we're, we're at 12 and a half. Almost twelve and a half grand now, which is amazing, that's and that's, um, amazing. Mate, that's unbelievable. It's awesome, and so I'm um, well. I think we'll get to get twenty grand by the end of it. So anyway, guys, thank you. I'm going to switch you all off, and then we're going to do the draw. Um, unfortunately, Rebecca's like, "Can we do blockbusters?" Um, West Ham fan TV. We've already done blockbusters. Don't, you know, I don't like ripping people <laughs> off. We're going to do... do a joint one. We can do a joint. I won that as well. I won twice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You win it. We're going to do. Just say, so guys, we've got a uh, wheel of fortune coming up. Family fortunes type thing. And then the chase is going to be our last one as well. So well, we've not, got our chaser. No catchphrase. no catchphrase. Well, catchphrase. I don't know how you could do it with West Ham players. I, I was thinking act, about it the other can, night. You can act was, out the scenes. Yeah, or we could. Yeah, I can do. Yeah, yeah. I'm not enough of a mug as it is. Yeah, I might just act out the scene. But yeah, no. I was thinking about doing. I was thinking about doing. Um, yeah, because I was trying to do like players like in text language as like catchphrase, but it'd just be far too complicated. You know, you could do once Corona's over and we all go back normal. You can do Funhouse. Yeah, West, 
you know, a West Ham World fun out. We'll go to what's name? We'll go to, uh, I mean, probably any of you know, none of you know who a fair lot of waters is. But oh, yeah. Vent- yeah. oh, yeah, because you do. Yeah. Yeah, you live, you live yeah. near me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our's Adventure House. We'll hire that out. <laughs> is it still there? Is our's Adventure House still there? I don't know, mate, but it sounds good. <laughs> it was like, it was what I used to, yeah, it was like all that, that jumping stuff. It was always good anyway. There we go. We've, we've advertised something else in this. this it was this. Yeah, right, anyway, guys. Yeah. <laughs> don't bring the loop. Enjoy your hand. Light relief. Light relief, not hand relief. Uh, right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll drop you all out. Take care, everyone. Obviously, you know, we've got West Ham Fan TV have taken the time out. So give them some love. Lots of really, really interesting stuff happening at the moment. Hammers chat. Obviously, give them. All the love. Tom, sorry, you're probably sorry, doing a... Sorry, Gio and Gonzo. Apologies for putting in a bad... Yeah. Are you, <laughs> doing, are you doing live live stream on yeah, Saturday? Yeah, myself. I think um, Gio and Gonzo are both uh, away. So, yeah, it'll probably be myself oh. and Charlie with that and, and doing a review. So, yeah. Good. We've, and we've then got Corey, free range the weekend. Oh, lovely. And Corey, West Ham fan too. So, West Ham way. Um, you'll be doing a live stream probably you and Dan, innit? Uh, no, I think Dan shafted me this week, so it's just me. So I'm on my own. I'll try so and get someone on. But... Literally, you be you watching the oh, game. I'm going to have to man it on my own, so right, okay. I've got to keep it going. All right, then, guys. All right, I'll let you all go. Take care, everyone. Thank yeah, you very keep much. Keep up the good work, everyone. Take care. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, that was that was um, Ryan, Tom and Corey from West Ham. Fan TV from Hammers Chat and from the West Ham way. And so thank you so much for your time again. Um, now, as John would have said on um on twitter we go we've been basically got four west ham signed shirts which we're going to be raffling off at the end of each of these things as i said it's only about half an hour 45 minutes not the the two hour marathon although maybe we might bring it back if we get some a good guest on so i've still got my thanks for canning town then i've kept it i've kept my chinese takeaway box full of people obviously it's been added to as we as we get more and more people on board um donating as i said we're currently at 12,141 quid which is absolutely mental and so as i said we're on the way to, 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 to 20k there's a rhyme we're on the way to hashtag we're on the way to 20k there we go so um let's see who's gonna win now obviously what i've tried to do is anyone who's, who's won already are taking them out because you know let's give someone else a chance um oh i've got a little help, my helper She's not in a West Ham shirt. She's done a pig. She's all in pigtails, which I did. I did a plat, so I was quite pleased about. Thank you, Fofo. Cheers. Two. Well, you can only have one. Oh, I'm going to put that one back so we don't know who it was. Cheers, babe. There we go. So just an appearance from Flo's hands today. And this goes to a lovely man. He's actually, I believe, just gone on holiday on his Facebook. It is um, the East End Pirate himself, Mr. Chris Ross. So, Chris Ross, congratulations. Lovely guy. Um, really supports everything we do with Iron Supporting Food Banks as well. So, um, Chris, I know you're away. I'll message you on Facebook and Twitter so you know. And um, when we get the shirts back, obviously at the moment, it's, you know, we, we're getting... Oh, it's a bit difficult to try and get all the players together to sign stuff at the moment. But that's being um, going to be sent to us soon. And then we'll make sure that gets sent to you, Chris. Um, uh, again, thank you very much for your time, everybody. Um, it was good fun, a little bit of a giggle, um, and just a good excuse to get everyone um, to keep the good work with the Iron Support Food Banks stuff going. Obviously, um, you would have noticed the other day, um, John tweeted um, from the Iron Support Food Bank how you know the, they basically it was last Friday, I think it was, and they ran out of fish, rice, and meat. So um, it's really, really critical that we try and help them out. I know times are hard. I know everyone's. You know, people may be redundant and furloughs and stuff, but um, any 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 money you got, you know, it's, it's a tenner, you know, a fiver, whatever, you know, it's a pint or a couple of costas. Um, and uh, and as as John says, um, it's uh, absolutely amazing at the moment the support um, that everyone's bringing. So what we'd like to do afterwards is once we've done all four, uh, once we, as a, throughout September we're going to be doing this. Obviously, one of the main ways that the guys um, raise money is through match day donations, like in the in the buckets. But unfortunately, um, we haven't got any games going, so it doesn't really work. Unfortunately, at the moment, um, so this is really really helping people out. And maybe what we we'll do afterwards is is once everything's sorted and and we can get back and, and stuff like that is maybe we'll um, me and john might do a little video and show you how the money's spent um and where it's gone to as well so it's, it's not just gone to a pot or anything like that not at all every penny goes to new and food banks and also other community projects uh, and, and other charities around the new area so you know it's all about pulling together at the moment as you said uh, as ryan said it's nice to have a little bit of a distraction um, a bit of light relief and um you know 
West Ham fans always pull together um, when these things happen. And so um, it, it's great that, that that's still, still carrying on. Um, that's it today. Nice and simple. Um, as I said, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon so you're made aware of any time I put new content on. And also it gives you reminders about when we put the new quiz nights on. As I said, next week, um, I did sort of tell the boys, but again, they still don't know what it is. Uh, we're going to be doing, um, let me just take off Ryan's um, comment. Um, we've got, let me take Ryan off here. Uh, we've got uh, next week, we've got Wheel of Fortune. Next Thursday, 9 p.m. UK, uh, Ryan will be back on defending his crown. Might have to get some sort of, you know, championship belt sorted or something like that, because that'd be quite funny. Um, or some sort of trophy so we can sort of pass it around as as I went. Obviously, we'll disinfect it in between people having uh, winning it, but uh, it might be quite fun. Uh, and so that'd be fun. So Wheel of Fortune, uh, for those of you who remember what Wheel of Fortune is, as I said, I had to explain to the boys, bless them, uh, Tom and Corey, what, what the fuck... Um, uh, price of you know um, pay cards what it was all about but uh, anyway uh, until next time guys um, take care everyone stay safe um, and we'll see you again very very soon stick together everyone's everyone everyone yeah, let's get his West End community going um, you know come on your wines everyone and make sure everyone stays safe and we'll see you again very very soon take care everyone bye bye